This is absolutely amazing. I just typed in Origami Batman in a paper Gotham City and this was the result. How amazing is that? Here, here's another one. A photo of a cute furry monster hiking up a mountain. What? It's a photo of a cute furry monster hiking up a mountain, complete with backpack. First lunch or whatever you do when you go hiking. Amazing. One more, one more. I typed in Spider-Man playing Quidditch in the style of digital art. What? Spider-Man playing Quidditch. It's not perfect, but it looks amazing. And it was made in eight seconds. And I'm going to tell you how. Hello and welcome. My name's Andrew Goodman and I do creative artwork on the iPad. And today I'm very excited, more excited than normal, because for the past day or two, I've been making AI artwork on the iPad. Artificial intelligence has been making artwork. I've simply been typing in a sentence of something I would like to generate. And within eight seconds, artificial intelligence is creating it. And the results are absolutely amazing few bad ones, but overall, absolutely amazing. In this video, we're going to look at what AI art is, what DALI 2 is, how it works, some of my creations, some of the different styles, how you can sign up and much more. A few months ago, I watched a YouTube video on AI art. I had never heard the term AI art before or even thought such a thing was possible. I watched the video and my mind was completely blown away. And I didn't think much more about it to just a few days ago where this AI system called DALI 2 was opened up for public use. Up until a few days ago, it was in testing and only a few select people were able to get access to it. Now it's opened up so people like me and you can get access to it and it's free. All you have to do is sign up, put in your phone number, they send you a code. And that's it. I've got my iPad here and we're going to talk a wee bit about DALI 2. First of all, what is it? DALI after Salvador DALI, the artist, and WALL-E after the lovable Pixar robot and 2 because this is the second version of this AI system. DALI 2 is a new AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language. Here's an example from the DALI 2 website, an astronaut riding a horse in a photographic style. And you have an astronaut riding a horse and it looks pretty realistic. So before we look at a few of my examples, how does DALI 2 make this happen? So DALI was created by learning images and their text description. So more or less like a big database full of images, in this case, a koala bear and motorcycles. And by deep learning and by some wizardry, it can combine these images together and it knows what a koala bear is, it knows what a motorcycle is, and it can also learn from the relationship between these two things. So when you put in the text, koala bear riding a motorcycle, what do you get? A koala bear riding a motorcycle. And it really looks like the koala bears riding a motorcycle. Getting started is so easy. Just go to the link, openai.com, forward slash DALI dash E dash two to sign up. The link's also in the description below. I signed up through Google. It'll ask you for your phone number. Once you add it in, the website will send you a code to your phone and then you can add it back into the website and that's you logged in and you've got 50 credits, 50 images to produce. You can buy more, but I'll talk about that shortly. But let's get into the good stuff. Let's see what I created with DALI 2. The first thing I created, and don't ask me why I thought of this, I've no idea, a blue snowball on a cat, on a surfboard in the middle of the desert. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how my mind thinks. These are the results. That's unreal. DALI throws up not just one result, but four possible results. And if you want, you can then pick one of those results and refine it furthermore. I think that's my favorite one. That looks really, really good. Now, in this case, I asked for a blue snowball on a cat and the cat's on the snowball in this one, but it still looks great. Now, these are not photorealistic. They're a bit more cartoony. And that's okay, because there's so many different styles DALI can produce. Here's another one. Darth Vader playing soccer. Darth Vader playing soccer. And that is absolutely amazing. Now, some of the other results aren't fantastic. That one there doesn't look brilliant, but it's Darth Vader kicking a football. The football's a bit of an odd shape, and there's a bit of mesh, a bit of warping going on. But it still looks pretty good. Here's another one. I was on the phone to my brother and he suggested this. A banana dressed up as a Mexican with a sombrero. It's a banana dressed up as a Mexican with a sombrero. Unbelievable. Mustache, googly eyes. That one there doesn't have eyes. But it looks really, really good. Here's another one. A creepy pumpkin with a mustache and big eyes in the forest. 
what a time to be alive. Some of them look more creepier than others, but this is this is lifelike. This is like something I had taken outside. It doesn't look generated at all. Here's another one. A creepy pumpkin with a mustache and big eyes in the forest in snow. Unbelievable. A few more for you. Spaceman in Times Square playing chess. Now, the board looks a wee bit wonky and the pieces don't look too correct, but it's it's very, very impressive. That there is really good for just eight seconds to generate something. That is absolutely incredible. Another great thing about DALI 2 is not just can you put a few phrases in, you can also get a certain style. So in this case, DeLorean on silk screen poster style retro. And look at that. So it's not realistic, but it's made the images in that kind of style. Pixel art. I can do pixel art. New York City skyline in the year 3000 in pixel art. Now, the text is a wee bit messed up. It is pixel art. New York City in the year 3000 doesn't look that much different to New York City now in pixel art. Maybe maybe the skyline won't change that much. Who knows? But it's still a good attempt. Love this one. It's the photo you didn't know you wanted to see till now. Photo of a teddy bear drinking a latte. Look at that teddy bear. Look at that latte. Oh, look at that photo. He's just, he's just staring it down and he's having a wee sip. An old robot with lights for eyes in the misty woods at night wide shot. Look at that. DALI 2 is really only limited to your imagination and that's the great thing about it. Now there's there's pros and cons to it which we'll, we'll touch on at the end of the video. It can even get facial expressions even on dinosaurs. A shocked dinosaur opens his birthday present at his party. Look at that. It's a dinosaur. I think he looks shocked and he's definitely at a party. He's not opening a present but uh, he's got a birthday cake. My goodness. I don't know how long that would take me to create an Affinity photo or Photoshop, but DALI in 8 seconds or so has created that. Talk about different styles, I can do oil paintings. An oil painting of the King of Raccoons with his crown on, wearing pink glasses. A 3D render of New York City made of, wait for it, Cheese. No words. Another style. Stained glass windows. Stained glass window of a robot looking sad at the bottom of the sea. Again, not sure where I came up with these things, but here's the result. Yeah, he's looking sad. He's not at the bottom of the sea. It's definitely stained gla glass window effect. Another style. A man working from home in the style of the Starry Night painting. So here's a Starry Night painting, if uh, if you're not familiar with it. Very famous painting. And I'm looking for a man working from home in this day and age. A lot of people are, including me. Here we go. Wow, that's just what it says in the tin. This is scary. And yet, so much fun. I could do this all day, but we'll only, we'll only do a few more. A frog boy band playing ukuleles drawn as a 1950s cartoon in a circus tent. Yeah, there's a few wee rough bits. The hands of the frogs don't look brilliant, but it certainly looks like a boy band of frogs. One's even got a top hat. What a nice touch. We've got a stray uh, foot of a frog there, but that looks great. Another style, a hyper-realistic claymation of a duck fighting a chicken. Look at that, and the duck's really going for it. It's got, it by, got the chicken by the neck, and it is in the style of, of, of claymation. You have to get into this. As soon as you're finished watching this video, click on the link below and have a play around with this. I'm not affiliated with this. I've got nothing to do with this. I just think this technology is absolutely amazing and it's so much fun. It's only limited by your imagination and uh, it can do some mad stuff. Dally 2 does have some limitations. It doesn't really do faces very well. It doesn't do weapons. It doesn't do knives. It doesn't do guns because uh, I suppose there's a security risk. Uh, you could type in Andrew Goodman doing something he shouldn't be doing with a gun or a knife and it could look very realistic, too realistic, and no one wants to see that. Well, maybe some people want to see that, but no, no one wants to see that. The Empire State Building made a cake digital art. Wow, that is a cake I would eat. So DALI 2, it's only limited to your imagination, but you can do you can do subtle things that just look like a, a regular photo like this. A photo of a glass of iced tea, love a glass of iced tea by the way, on a table overlooking a beach. I'm speechless. 
it's just like a photo you would take with your iPhone on holidays. All of these photos are really realistic. You wouldn't know that was AI generated. Not at a glance. So Dali 2 is not just for coming up with absolutely amazing wacky photos that's only limit to your imagination. It can do much more like this. It can make realistic edits to existing images from natural language. It can remove elements while taking shadows, reflections and textures into account. I went into unsplash.com. I got this brilliant picture of the Statue of Liberty. You can download it in the link below. So I rubbed out the Statue of Liberty to see what Dali 2 could replace it with. Sit down if you're not already sitting. Here we go. I simply typed in a statue from the future and these are the results. That's okay. I don't know if it looks quite in the future. That one there looks like the Statue of Liberty, a wee bit more futurized. That one there, that's completely different. Uh, quite interesting. Next, an alien statue. Yeah, that looks like an alien statue, like a wee UFO on his head. That there looks a bit alien-wise. That there's a bit mad, I'm not sure about the green, but the actual design looks like something an alien would do if he conquered New York City and put this new statue up. Maybe. And if a statue like that ever replaces New York City where we've all we've all been conquered and we're all doomed. That looks a bit scary, that one. Next, a statue of Captain America. We're going a bit Marvel now. Let's see what the captain would look like. Yeah, that looks great. That looks really, really good. Is it very realistic? It looks a wee bit arty, but for something generated in seconds, that's really, really good. Here's another quick example. This is a photo of my daughter's birthday cake. It's all that now, sorry. And I thought I'd rub out the top of it and simply ask Dali to, to add Spider-Man. And this is the result. Really good. The mermaid's tail still out. Nearly looks like Spider-Man has a mermaid's tail, but it's really realistic. It looks like Spider-Man has been added to the cake and it's even added Spider-Man into the right angle. Dali 2 can also take an image and create different variations of it from that original image. Here's a few examples. So you've got a few mice and Dali has made these different variations. That's unreal. It's com some of them's completely different. Similar, but different. Here's another one, very famous painting, different variation on it. Wow. Even turning, turn her head the different way. That is really, really impressive. You can tell through this video, I've been very impressed with Dali 2. I'm very excited. It's a lot of fun. You waste an awful lot of time. If you do sign up, you're going to waste a lot of time, but it's time spent waste it well. I don't know if that makes sense, but it is good fun. It's only limited to your imagination. Now, you do get 50 credits absolutely free, but if you're like me, you'll go through them quite quickly, and then it's only $15 plus taxes was about $18 for an extra 115 credits. And I think that's pretty decent value. That works out if you're in the UK to around just over 15 pound for 115 credits. And I signed up for more credits and I'm currently making my way through that. Now, if you have followed AI art at all, there is a lot of controversy about it with good reason too. Some people are very worried that it could put them out of the job and this is just the beginnings. It's just gonna get better and better. It's gonna get more realistic. And you can see how if your job is to come up with these kind of illustrations, or photos or photo manipulation. You could understand why you would be concerned for your job. And I completely understand that. And it's an argument I'm not gonna get into. I'm looking at DALI 2 just through my eyes, through the possibilities where I could use it. And I think in the next few videos, I'm gonna dive into DALI 2 just to see how far I can push it. And could I incorporate it into my work? Should I incorporate it into my work? I think if I do, it'll be only in small instances. Maybe it'll help me with uh, removing certain objects or replacing certain objects in the background. Or I kind of picture it if I want if I want a fancy screensaver in the background or a fancy photo in one of my kind of photo manipulation pieces of art. Dali 2 would be very handy to do something quite quirky. There's some things you can't generate in Dali 2. You can't generate violence, hate, adult images. You also can't do photorealistic generations of real individuals' faces, including those of famous people and people in the public. There's a lot to take in this video. Are you as excited as I am about AI art? Let me know in the comments below. Over the next few videos, I hope to do a wee mini series on DALI 2, just pushing it to see what it can do. And just, it's really out of interest for me. 
and hopefully you'll find it interesting too to see what it can do and uh, is it a tool to have in your tool belt i like being creative i like knowing what technologies around the corner what's coming it's this has just been a lot of fun for me this this has been a joy this video actually i've had a lot of fun coming up with weird and wacky scenarios situations some of the results have been truly truly unbelievable and there's so many more that i didn't show you and maybe over the next video too we'll touch on them and different things so please if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do so the next few videos will be focused on dali 2. normally i do creative artwork on the ipad specializing really in affinity photo which is a bit like photoshop only better for the ipad so check out some of those videos and until the next time thanks for watching hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video